and welcome to Salon News again with me, Bintia to Esther Bangura. Today, the third of October, we then at the Roque Secondary School wedding at our inn at the western part of Utah. As today mark the 54 years anniversary of the beloved Roque Secondary School, and we there also for can observe how normally they can celebrate the anniversary. Una day with me as we go now for go know exactly how the anniversary celebration look like. <laughs> afternoon you go tell Fambule your name is Saudi and Mr. you know that? My name is Mr. Sametuye. I'm an old boy of this great institution. I get to pick in them. I'm married for 19 years and I've taught for 24 years. So who say we they presently? We are the house? Yeah, presently, yeah. I am at um, Rokel. So you know who that's at Rokel School? I'm in the substantive principal at the Rokel SSS division. So since when you take up this mount, this I, mantle as principal? I took over four weeks ago. I took over on the 8th when I was given my appointment letter on the 8th of September. So I'm just doing four weeks. So what and waiting you don't do within these four weeks? I think at the first for unified the teacher, the teacher will be unified and then cabal. Okay. And it is only when they are unified before I will say I will succeed. If they are not unified, then I will not succeed. I'm fighting towards that. We see gathering there are so today now they go kill school. You go take we through why people are getting there today? We kill get but they will kill on 54 years today and next year they 55. And that is the reason why they are here and they want to see their new principal. They want to talk to him, etc. etc. That is why most people then are here. So waiting. 
So what do Rokel get for showcase today as they celebrate their 54 years? Thank you, showcase the new principal is very much enthusiastic for can the school up to who they expect them. I think that is a very decent showcase. We still not distribute badges. Then you go take week through them badges then they? I give badges to 40 of people them or people them for be prefects. Now they go help me. Then self na stick. Then self na stick all in development and I give them 40 to myself. I get to talk with them. Then they go help me. Because not all tell me they come on an office for campus around. So they are my supplement or subsidiary authorities them for make sure that morality, standard, code of conduct, dress code, etc. etc. are maintained. Na iya luna ki do this na iya luna ki perform this kind of ceremony say we wo kelly celebrating birthday una di give prefect badges to to school picking them yes. if yes why una una choose for do this and how una di go about una selection or election about prefects then we dey do an yearly and when we come attend the dynamics i give them i make sure say i get a prefectural board the prefectural board give them comprehensive english exams both written and oral and I think, say, I respect the board. And the virtual board was headed by Mr. Top, who is the head of the English department. I respect him so much. So the name that we give, because we trust another name, then they will give badges. Because, because the system changed. Not to say, be like a trade, trade. Now, whether the form teacher feel say, now in person, what I feel say, in go give, now I give, but we not do so. Then take a comprehensive, worst standard English written exams. Okay, now one of the school and at the western parts where you check but in name study and not be there in good conduct. So which new strategy we for expect from you as new principal now, okay? Simple strategy, unification. The teachers were not unified for the past decades. They're not be there together, we didn't cabal. So I have to do everything humanly possible to make sure that I bring them together. While I bring them together, everything is okay. So because it's like... the teacher insists on discipline. So, so until I discipline them, they come together, they see themselves as partners in development, they see themselves as brothers and sisters, then it's going to be a problem. So I don't mind to spend some time in that, because if the teachers are not unified, all those will do so a mess. So what in the public for expect from you and local people? Mm, there should not be too much optimistic for now, because I'm trying to pull the teachers together. After I will have placed them together, by next year, the same thing, I different okay what they talk about. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon. Can you please introduce yourself to the public? Okay. My name is Emmanuel Richmond Kamara. I'm from the Great Government Hotel Senior Secondary School. What level are you? I'm in SS3. At. Since when do you start attending the Hotel Senior Secondary School? Well, I started to attend Senior Secondary School yeah, in 2000 and 2000 and 16 or so. Okay, which means he started yeah. attending here in JSS. Yes, yeah. Okay, so what is your take about the school? Well, I think the great the school is a great school in terms of learning and also in terms of teaching. So I think this, the, the school is a great school. Congratulations, first of all. I saw you today, you receive, an, you receive a prefect badge. What this badge mean to you? Well, I think this badge means great to me because it is my wish and also I work for it first of all I work for it because I sat I sat my exam for this badge uh, which is uh, written and also took my examination which is oral so I deserve the badge we saw I we saw some of you are in shock don't you know that today you are going to receive the badges well it's like it's like some of we, we don't expect this badge because about hundred number of us who see the examination so we don't know the right people who are going to receive the badge you know the prefect's board has been in established for many years so what is the different thing are you going to do from all from the previous prefect well i think we are going to enforce on time because i think the students are now having the habit of come to school late time so we're going to put things in place for that. For now, you are having a new principal. A new principal which he just took the office for four weeks. So what are the new things have you seen him doing? Well, I think Mr. Samuel Tue is a great principal for this gov government we care. 
since he came, since he took the office, two or three weeks back, he, he gave us an opportunity for we to have an, an extra class on Saturday, free. We don't, we don't have to pay for it. So I think that's a great difference. And also he adds some one minute, I mean 10 minutes towards the time. We used to off at six, five, uh, 5.50, now we're off at 6 o'clock. So I see some improvement towards. So as we are about to round up this interview, what is the expectation? Are we going to look forward to you as individual since you have took up this mantle of a prefect in Rokel Secondary School? Well, the expectation you guys are open for me is that I give my wish and I promise that I'm going to do my best in terms of was ex uh, public examination as about to took my take my was examination now that's my promise I'm going to give to the school and also to the principal that I Emmanuel Richmond Kumar going to pull the best results for for government to in your secondary school thank you for talking to us thank you ma you're welcome good afternoon you go introduce yourself to Fambul Usawude and who that's now you um, good afternoon. Me and Mano Bizoko Dumbia, the president of the Rokel Old People's Association. Within a Rokel school today, and we celebrate with 54th year anniversary. So, since when you be the head of Ropa? Well, I don't been at this position for something like five, six years. Take me through on some of his success stories, then. Where you come, wait and wait till you don't do. Well, um, prior to me coming as an active past pupil, I work with my other colleagues them for ensure say the school get uh, a board because for over the years before me, me coming the school not be get an existing board so things not really happen accordingly so we fight for us for get an existing board once we get that board set up we usher me in as a board member and in the board I be the, I serve as the chairman of the visitation committee. That committee now they in charge of the education and infrastructure of the school. So basically, from the board point of view, I was overseeing or I am overseeing the infrastructure and educational sector of the school. So presently we day are so. First of all, waiting the past people say, since you say over five years now, Una don't take up this mantle as past people say for the Rokel Senior Secondary School. Waiting are the things the way Una don't put in place. Will not be there in existence. Well, um, the key things them will be prioritized um, na education and infrastructure. So we target education first. We waiting. We want for no waiting at the problem. When we go to the drawing board, we think say few things them responsible for that. One of them na the size class. We will get large classes same. I mean by one class you get over 90 people in, over 90 picking in there. And teachers they not be committed, assignments and they all over the place, um, weekend lessons same. So we look at all the things and they say we for cut them down. We cut the class sizes now. You know they're gonna any class now this school, we're up to 55, at most 53. That's now one thing we'll do. And you find out, say, when the class sizes them cut, the teachers and they will commit and they will concentrate to the kids them. And we come to the, to the, to the um, teachers them. We ensure, say, we get training them. We talk to them. We engage them. We make sure, say, they know, say, they work now for give back to the picking them, for educate the picking them, for inspire them, for motivate them. And we ensure that that be done. We they monitor them very well and then they give them best for ensure, say, we they do well in na, 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 um, public exams and now. Although we don't go reach who we want it, but we they move slowly and by God in power, we go increase the pace from slow pace to a faster pace. With respect to infrastructure, if you come now, okay, three, four years back, you go shame for seeing how okay you, you come. But now, I'm um, proud for say we are moving faster rate in terms of infrastructure. We don't refurbish one or, um, one or two side them. The classroom them now, decent, paved, new furniture them. The library, we have one of the best library. We get computers them for the kids them for use. The library is well refurbished. So in that area, I think say infrastructure wise, we are getting there. Indeed, we know rich date, but we are getting there. And as past pupils, as they talk, we did the construction of a six um, classroom building because we want to go into single shifts as government they, they um, push for that. So we want to give support and we want to use this medium also for appeal to government say, 
We in our 100% government-owned school. Let them come out with aid. We get, the, we get vast land. Let them come and help we build. As we say, the tower for build small. Let them come and build because we need like 23 classrooms for going to single shift. So we they do we on as past weeks. We they call on government for let them also come and get their young bits. We get for no say presently we get new principal. We just don't serve for three weeks or so. Why we decide for choose that Monday and why we pull the the former way there? Thank you very much. The, the principal will be there, Mr. Alicious Kamara. We not pull and pass it. He reach in retirement age. And uh, he, he, he retire on the 31st of August. So um, a responsible board like us conduct an interview. And let it be known that not of the past two is them, not the board. The board and the Ministry of Education appoints the board where the chairman, not even a Rokelian. We advertise the position of principal. People they apply. And this Rokelian, amongst others, he applied for the job and he went through the rigorous. He got the job and now he's serving as the principal of the senior secondary school. So what are the challenges then presently the school is facing? Well, the challenges then what they face now, um, I think say, it cuts across because we get late subsidies. As I'm speaking to you now, we not get subsidies yet for first time. And this school is a purely government-owned school with a run by government subsidies within the GI. And so when subsidies is not there, with a, it, 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 it give a lot of pressure for put things them in place. Pass, we they go individually, pass people's association, they come in. You know, that's our one challenge. Another challenge what they get. Now we teach as them. Some of them they tell we say they not to pin code teach as them. Then I just type in and they get. And one appeal to government through the teaching service commission. Let them see how best they can help with teachers as them more qualified. Let them be a permanent teacher as them, so they go to get their salary amount done. We still not do distribution of badges, prefectorial badges today. How we do this uh, uh, badges? Now through selection or election or through examination? Well, this is a school setting, so we, we cancel election or selection. Um, we, the, the principal and in team, if it gets a prefectorial board team headed by the English teacher the party, uh, English, head of English department. Now, I do that in interview day for over 40 people. Is in a seat exams, then later they follow up with interview. They want those successful for the exams. And finally, then get to the wire so we succeed for serve as prefect and head boy girl and senior prefect. How much in total would they talk about presently? We talk about 40 prefects then. 40 prefects them in total. 40 prefects. So, waiting at the word you get for tell listeners, um, a, a formal students of the vocal and everybody. Well, I they start with uh, um, we the past people same. I want to make a clarion call to all past people at home and abroad. Abroad, this is our school. Let us come on board. The school song tell we say we are proud of our institution, and if you're proud of your institution, let us come on board and give back to our school, and by so doing, we go see the school develop. And to the kids them, the pupils them, they get a responsibility for be educated, but if they want to be educated, then therefore uh, make sure say, they study well, then push away from violence as at this talk. One picking our school admits against penal court injury as a result of violence. So they preach non-violence to the kids them, and we encourage the teachers them, continue to talk to them, let them they teach the picking them as the picking them, now we lead as them. And also to government, to the big proper government, let them not forget to school. One go single shift, we cannot do it alone. Let them come, we we'll get the vast land, let them come and help with structure so that we will go single shift. And to parents them, we we'll are continue for bringing our picking them at the school, and we we'll are continue for monitoring our picking them so that we will get the best local and the best Sierra Leone to come. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much for having me. That's now the current principal of the Roque Senior Secondary School and also the head of the Old People's Association, where they call Ropa. The other possible now here is so now one part of the school picking them. We're fortunate for get the prefectorial badge. They all don't tell me the reason for this celebration and why they can do this early. This is Salon News. And me will bring a cancel unu. My name na Bintia to Esther Bangura. The always the remind una say una always go the like, subscribe, and even left your comments box. You comment at the comments box. Lastly, don't forget for share with story there. Till we meet again for another wonderful episode at the tell una all say Sata.